Welcome to our video series on more advanced features of Windows XP. In this video, we'll look at regional and language options in Control Panel. Next, let's take a look at regional and language options in Control Panel. So, double click to open it up. And in the Regional Options tab, you can choose which country's standards and formats you want to use by default. So here we've chosen English United States. And you can just choose from the list here. And it gives you some samples, for example how numbers will be presented, with commas breaking up the numbers every three digits, and a period as the decimal point, Currency, U.S. dollar, the currency sign, time and short date formats, the long date format, and you can also specify location. But this is all customizable if you wish. You can click on Customize, and first is the Numbers tab, and you can change pretty much every aspect of this. You can change the decimal symbol if you want, from a period to something else if you think that's appropriate. You can change the number of digits after the decimal, and so on. And it gives you examples of positive and negative numbers. You can also do the same thing for currency. So if you want, you can customize the currency symbol, and so on, and also the time and the date. So that's all entirely customizable. But let's just cancel that now. Let's stick with the default settings for English, United States, and as I mentioned, you can see the details here. Now, in the Languages tab, first of all, let's look in this area, Supplemental Language Support. As it says, most languages are installed by default. You can install additional languages by selecting the appropriate checkbox below. So, install files for complex script, and right-to-left languages, including Thai. So, if that's appropriate for you, you can install those. And you can also install files that are appropriate for East Asian languages. Okay, here, let's take a look at Text Services and Input Languages Details. And initially, Default Input Language. Which basically means, as you can see here, Installed Services. It basically means which keyboard you have. Here I've installed, I've set it up through Windows that I can choose between a United Kingdom English format and a United States English keyboard format. And if you want to remove either, you can just select it and remove. And you can also add more keyboard formats if you wish. Of course, there are differences between different keyboards for different languages. Obviously, it does make things a lot easier if you have the correct keyboard installed here, so it matches the one you're using. You can, if you wish, install multiple keyboard setups here, then just choose between them. Choose which one you use. It's important that you select the correct one for the keyboard you have. Otherwise, your keyboard may behave somewhat strangely. In other words, you may press a key and something that isn't displayed on the key might appear because that's the key's position in the language of the other keyboard you've installed, if that makes sense. Essentially, just make sure you match the keyboard you have installed with the keyboard you're using, or otherwise, you may note some strange behavior when you're typing. Here, you can also choose Language Bar, Show the Language Bar, and there it is. And you can just switch between languages quickly, or you can disable that if you wish. And Key Settings. This allows you to set how some keys respond to your keyboard. So, to turn off Caps Lock, press the Caps Lock key. But as an alternative, you can press the Shift key to turn off the Caps Lock. But by default, you press Caps Lock once to enable Caps Lock, and press it again to disable Caps Lock. 
You can also set up what are called hotkeys, which are key combinations on your keyboard that you press at the same time to make something happen. So here, switch between input languages, and the key sequence is Left, Alt, and Shift. So you can change that if you wish, and you can also set up hotkey combinations for these options as well. Finally on this screen, the Advanced tab. You just have a couple of options here. Extend support of advanced text services to all programs, and turn off advanced text services. So those are the main options in the Regional and Language Options screen. The main options you'll deal with are setting up the standards and formats that are appropriate for you, numbers and currency, and so on, so they display the way you want them to. And also, you'll want to set up the correct keyboard setting here for the keyboard you actually use to ensure that what you press on the keyboard actually appears on the screen.